What's going on guys? Yarn with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Blaze Whack 2, the Egg Lock Run, the challenge mode of the Egg Lock Run, or Blaze Whack 2, or something. Yeah, um, anyways, uh, I kind of wonder who came up with the idea to do Pokewood, or whatever it's called, because it is literally just the stupidest idea ever, and I'm very glad it's done with. I'm very glad we skipped it, because even with, like, the speed button, it still took, like, just 10 minutes of obnoxious and insane hating of myself, so, um, yeah, in the last episode, we beat both Brawly and what's-his-face, Roxy, the one standing right in front of us. <laughs> and today, we are going to be taking on some Plasma guys, and assuming we survive, we will be going off to Castellia City. So, um, while we're taking these guys on, I want to tell you guys a story real quick. This is a little real-life story. Hopefully, you guys might enjoy it. So, um, my grandfather is 90 years old, okay? He, uh, turns 91 in May. And he is in, he's like the male version of Betty White. And by that, for those of you who don't know who Betty White is, you're probably really young and that's kind of a shame because she's like a 90 year old actor who's still acting today, who still has a full life. Uh, it's rather, it's just so impressive and like so awe inspiring that, um, you know, at that age, she doesn't have to stay in a home. She can go out, she lives a full life, she does TV shows, commercials. Uh, it's just amazing to see that. And, that pretty much describes my grandfather, because at 90 years old, he still lives a full life. He can, you know, have a coherent conversations. He goes out, he does yard work. It's just, it's so surprising and so amazing that he can do that as his age. And um, today, I walk, I go upstairs, and I go out onto the porch for uh, my house. And what do I see when I go out on this porch? Wait, do I have any fighting type? Yeah, I do have a fighting type. Move. What do I see when I go out on this porch? First off, this porch is about... 20 feet off the ground I guess um, because we live like over this hill so it's like 20 feet above the ground and I go outside and here is my grandfather <laughs> um, on a ladder painting or doing something not painting he was cutting a limb off a tree <laughs> I just found this so hilarious because a 90 year old man he's probably including the deck and the ladder he's probably like 25 feet above the ground leaning over the edge cutting off a limb of a tree what they should how is that even possible just i that's so inspiring to me i did get him down and i did it myself because i was afraid he'd fall off but um, still seriously a 90 year old man who does that's just awe inspiring it's very amazing that he can still live that kind of life and do those kind of things at his age uh almost 91 years old he had last year uh in 2011 i mean in early 2012 he actually had cancer and he's just kicked cancer's butt. And it's just, I mean, it was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. He stayed strong the entire time. He never really, I mean, he got pretty sick there for a while. And, um, you know, we didn't really think he'd make it through. And he's just like, you know, what? screw that. And he kicked its butt. He beat cancer at 89 years old. Um, turned 90 a few months later. It was just so impressive um, for just to see that, just to know him. And, um just amazing so hopefully you guys have someone in your family that's that freaking inspiring because that is just absolutely amazing um and yeah i just it, it's just so inspiring to me i hope i can live a life like that when i'm if i even reach 90 years old a lot of people don't reach 90 years old i mean my dad works in a convalescent home which is a retirement home and there are people in there in like their 60s and 70s who you know they're just sitting there waiting to die pretty much um you know, they have like nothing to live for, they can't really carry on good conversations, they can't take care of themselves. And it's just so sad when you see that. And then I look at my grandfather, 90 years old, he carry on a very good conversation. Um, he's, you know, goes out, he can still drive, he lives, lives a full life, and it's just so inspiring to see that. And it's just very, very impressive. Uh, so hopefully all of you guys, all, me, everyone, you know, they live to have, they go on to have a life like that, because it's just... So inspiring. And if you don't know who Betty White is, go hit yourself with a dictionary because that's a shame. Fantastic, fantastic actress. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. Um, that plasma event went by really quickly. Well, they're running they're really good at running away. They must be moving around by boat. Castellia City, a big port. I wonder if they're headed there. Back to Verbank. Looks like they know a lot about ships. I like boats. I have boats in my bathtub when I take a bath. They go choo choo. Wait, no, no, that's my train. Never mind. I don't bring my train in my bathtub because my bathtub can't use trains. That would be weird. 
Oh, bad Ruby, just shut up. Nobody cares about your weird train infatuation. It's it's weird, man. It's just weird. Just stop it. You're weird. But yeah, so that's that's bad Ruby. He likes trains. He's not gonna live to be 90. He's not gonna live to be absolutely amazing. He's he's gonna die young. He's probably gonna be run over by train, which is a shame because he deserves it very much. So yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways, now let's listen to these guys. I thought you know. I thought you. I don't even know what um, Roxy's voice is like. I don't remember. Pop rocks. Pop rocks. Pop rocks. Pop rocks. Oh, you guys should see the band. Well, some of you probably shouldn't, considering your age, but. Um, if you're of age-appropriate age and you know certain things in this world, um, search up on YouTube Band Pop Rocks commercial. It's absolutely hilarious. I don't even I don't know if it's true or if it's or if that's real or if it's just fan-made or not because how racy it is. Um, it's hard to believe someone would actually make that thinking they can get it on television. <laughs> but you never know. In today's market, in today's world, you can pretty much put anything on television. So. Um, but yeah, if you're like I don't know, maybe 15 or older, you you, you any you all the younger ones are gonna take be all rebellious and do it anyways. But you probably you may not understand it if you're like young young. But um, yeah, it's just a very funny and dirty commercial. So <laughs> band pop rock, band pop rocks commercial. Look it up, laugh, be happy, all that stuff. Everyone, we arrived in Castelia City. Show this in Castellia City. It's much bigger than I heard. It's bigger than my bathtub. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to find plasma no matter where they run. Oh, Hardy, let's register each other's cross trans receiver number. I want to call you and be your friends. And we can do fun things together. That's a strange ship, a sailing ship in this day and see. It's like the one I have in my bathtub. It's pretty. Okay, thanks for the ride, goat, dude, bro. I'm just gonna walk away now uh, we can actually get I think like three new Pokemon right now we can get one in Castellia we can get one in Castellia sewers and I think we could go out to route 4 and get one right now that is a shiny charm which is um, I think like I don't know the exact statistics so I'm probably wrong but I believe if the Pokemon holding that is um, bred then the egg will have like a twice two percent chance or not two percent a two times chance of having a shiny or being a shiny which normally is like freaking like eight thousand 149 or something like that so uh, it is ridiculous uh, before we do anything else we're gonna go up to route 4 because um, I want to go catch myself a Pokemon we need some more Pokemans and I don't know I know it has to be a certain season for you to be able to get to the Castelia City grass um, without surf and if it is that season I'm gonna be upset because then I'll have to let me get out of my way so then I'll have to go move or pause the game and change the time oh Oh, Poop, what do you want? I saw you in your city. I just had to catch up to you. Here, take... The Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you for bothering me. I will graciously accept that. You put the dowsing machine in the key items. You can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. It's exciting to find an item while you're looking for a Pokemon. Okay, good luck. Goodbye. Oh, I thought you were walking away. No, don't come back. If you often use the dowsing machine to have a tat list and so on, why don't you register them? Mm, I think it's written in this book. Oh, okay, found it. I read. Register the present. Just press Y. See ya. Okay, bye. See ya. Okay, bye. Oh, we also have uh, these wonderful breeders up here, which are fantastic for... Um, this breeder will battle you every time you face her, so... But before we do that, we have to take on this guy. And, uh, oh, okay, no we don't. I, I guess you have to talk to him to battle him. Either way, let's go catch us some Pokemans. Alright, our first Pokemon for this route is going to be... A, uh, Sanctuary level 18. Ooh, fantastic. I don't have to grind it up too much, which will be nice. Um... Let's go with the Confusion. I don't think that'll kill. I really hope this thing doesn't have a Rock-type move. Oh, no, no! No! Butterfree! No! Oh! No, but... Oh! Butterfree! No! Bad! Bad Butterfree! God dang it. Oh, well. That was nice while it lasted. <laughs> well, we finally killed a Pokemon on a route. So, um, you guys saw a little X up there at the top instead of a check mark. I was wondering when I'd finally get to use that. Turns out today was that day, so that's nice. Okay, I guess we're going off to Castellia Sewers now. We can get a Pokemon there, and we might be able to get one in Castellia City 
Oh, actually, no, we can just get the starter Pokemon in Castellia City. I have to go see where it is, but you can uh, talk to another clown. He'll give you a starter Pokemon, and uh, that will be much easier, but I think it's going to be level 10, or it might be level 20 at this point in the game. I don't know. I'll find out, but um, either way, I'm going to pause, and then no, I'll go put a Pokemon in the box first, because I'll have to do that. But yeah, we are getting a Pokemon today. That's all that matters. That, that's what we're going to do. I don't care if it's a lower level. That's what the XP share is for, guys. Some of you are going to be like, oh, Hardy, just get... Just go to the box thing, but then go to the grass. But I, you saw what just happened to poor Sand Slash. Uh, oh, sorry, Sand Slash. I thought I was gonna catch it, and freaking Butterfree just had to go crit it. Nice job, Butterfree. Dang it, Felix. Bad Felix. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go pause and see where we get the starter Pokemon. One second, BRB. Okay, so unfortunately, the Pokemon we are gonna get is going to be level 10, and I know some people are gonna get mad at me for. Not going to the grass and getting a weaker Pokemon, but you know, poop on you. Doesn't bother. Oh, oh, what are you doing? People working in this building have Pokemon battles, not opinion battles. We appear to be strong, but if you go upstairs, be extra careful. Oh boy. Oh, another EXP share. That's cool. Oh boy. Um, I remember this this building way too much. This is the building. That's the guy. That guy killed Enzo. This guy right here. Stop talking to me. You're the reason Enzo died. You stupid Minchino. Get back here. I'm talking to you. Don't walk away. Hey. Oh, I'm going to get you now. Oh, you're going to regret that. I'm going to, I'm just going to make your life horrible. Uh, I do not know which level or layer or something. Whoa. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Uh, okay. The clown is not on this one. So it must be on 55. I will come about all these guys eventually right now. I want to focus on getting Pokemon first so that um, we can train them up. There's the clown we need to talk to. I wonder why the background doesn't show up here. That's weird. Um, this clown's going to give you a starter Pokemon depending on the s season it is. In spring, you'll get Torchic. In summer, you'll get Bulbasaur. In, um, I think, fall, you'll get Toted Out. And in winter, you'll get Charmander. So, there's actually another clown in Castellia that gives you four more starters. Or, he'll only give you one, actually. But, uh, there's another clown that'll give you a starter. And whichever starter you don't get, you will find in Hidden Grottos as their second form instead of their first form. So... Yeah, oh, people were asking me how Hidden Grottos are going to work. Um, Hidden Grottos are not going to count as a separate route. I'm just going to count them like as that route. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get like extra Pokemon out of the Hidden Grottos, so it's not going to work that way. Anyways, time to go get our new Pokemon. And I already know what I'm going to nickname this Pokemon because I made a promise to a friend, a good friend of mine who is sick right now, and I feel very bad because she's sick. So I promised her I would name my very next Pokemon after her. And her name, or at least the name she goes by on the internet, I still am not 100% sure how to pronounce. I believe it's Shino, S-H-I-N-N-O. Let's go uh, box one. Say this one, that's the Pokemon. Um, her favorite Pokemon are Lugia and Mew. Unfortunately, we will not be able to get one of those. But yeah, I promised her I'd name a Pokemon after her to try and make her feel a little better. So that's what we're gonna do. And of course, it's not hatching right away so one second okay well that took a while anyways here we go time to hatch our pokemon hopefully it's something good like a steel or a fire type come on let's cross our fingers who's gonna be named shino it's 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 oh he should each an egg an egg hatched out of the egg how disturbing is that well Shino, I hope you don't mind being nicknamed after a Volibee, of all things. So, it's S-H-I-N-N-O. Shino. Shino. It's apparently it's Shin, like the part of your leg, and then No, like the word No. So, yeah. <laughs> Shino. That's a, um, odd name. Anyways, before we move on, let's take a look at this new guy, little guy here. Level 1, he will be level 10 in a minute. Um, Gentle Nature... Gust and Leer. Uh, apparently, Gentle is plus special defense, lower physical defense. Eh, kind of an odd. Wait, is this guy, is he normal or flying? Or, oh, he's dark flying. Oh, okay. So, fantastic. We just, we got another freaking Murkrow. That's nice. Because we didn't already have enough of them, did we? Anyways, let's level this guy up to level 10. Put him back in a box because he doesn't evolve to like 50 something. So, <laughs> All right, I think I'm off on that, but. Yeah, it's, it's seriously an extremely long time. Um, he learned Pluck, which I guess that's decent, but um, 
Now I gotta decide, uh, I might as well, I'm probably gonna leave Poliwag in the box for now. Um, someone was saying I should release the voucher Pokemon so I don't get confused, but, you know, screw that, I don't wanna be confused, confusion's fun. Uh, Murkrow, a lot of people are telling me to take Murkrow because he's adamant, and, uh, I don't remember, I think Murkrow evolves with a Dusk Stone. I should really see where I get one of those, that's actually a good idea, one sec. Okay, so apparently the first place we get a Dusk Stone without, like, going around in dust clouds forever and ever and ever is in the Strange House, which is after the 6th gym. That is a long ways away to deal with a Murkrow. Um, dang it, I should have checked what level Volby evolved. One second. Okay, this is becoming, like, a very difficult decision because Volby won't evolve till 54, and I think that's even longer than after the 6th gym, so... We, we do not have an easy choice here. It's either Volby, uh, Murkrow, or Poliwag. Oh, or we can go to the Castellia Sewers and catch a Pokemon there. I actually forgot all about that. Uh, for now, we'll just stick with Volby. Um, he's not going to be used right now anyways. And we're going to go to Castellia Sewers and catch a Pokemon, um, which will be nice. So, what did, I, what did I press? No, I don't want the bike. By the way, if you guys didn't notice, you actually like, get the bike pretty early. Um, can we go to the Castelli Sewers right now? No. Nope. Oh, that's right. We gotta go to the gym first. And then Iris, of all freaking people, that horrible person, is gonna show up and complain and talk to us against our will. And gonna force us to go chase after retard boy. I mean, bad Ruby. And, yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. It's you looking for the gym leader, Berg. He said he might be trouble and then took off. You can go look for him if you like. Oh, I'm better to make advantage of you. Yeah. Oh, great. Look who it is. Oh, hello, Iris. Something came up and Berg isn't here right now. Hmm. Isn't Berg always vanishing, no? He always said he got an artist block and just wandered off to the gym. Hi there. Who are you? I am your bitch. I mean, you're my bitch. I don't, I don't like you. Go away. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, just look. Why do you keep talking? Why does everyone in Pokemon do that? You insult them and tell them to leave you alone, and they for some reason get this odd sensation that just keep talking to you. Just, just no. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. I don't like your kind. You're all evil and rude and. Mmm. I just, I just don't like it, okay? Why can't you guys ever leave me alone? Thumb Pierce, this way. It's if you want suspicion. I don't. You don't, you don't even deserve a voice. I'm not even going to talk about your dialogue. You, you just, you just, you don't deserve it. Don't, don't even, just pretend there isn't any text on the screen right now. Because she just, she doesn't exist anymore. If we reach her in the championship battle, we're just going to be like battling a, we're just going to be battling wild Pokemon instead of her. That's just how it's going to work. That's just the way it's going to be. Because she doesn't deserve a voice. She doesn't deserve to exist. She's just the worst Pokemon character ever. Um, I don't know if we can run into Pokemon here on the stairs. I don't want to have to do it with a double. Hardy, I need to get tougher. I'm going to have trouble taking it all by myself. It's okay. I took your healing your Pokemon. No. Okay, hurry up and get ready. Okay, we can run into Pokemon on the stairs. Our Pokemon for this area is going to be... Oh, he just spit a rack. No way. I got one of you, and he's an amazing little area. Or technically, it might be a she. I actually don't remember. But yeah, you just so adorable. I'm just going to try and catch you because I don't want to hurt you. I originally didn't like Nikatas, now I love them. Well, I love them in the hacks. They probably still suck normally. <laughs> but yeah, this one's level 16. Hopefully, oh my god, can we, hopefully we finally get something useful out of the box because we haven't been getting the best hatches lately. And I know people are going to be like, oh, Hardy, Murkrow, and Volpe are the greatest things ever. But I, this, I don't need more flying dark types to say the least. And I don't need Pokemon that are going to take three quarters of the game to evolve and actually become decent so I apologize if that upsets you but that's just the way it's gonna be all right let's go trade our new Ninkata buddy you're gonna be trading for a Pokemon let's go box three let's do box three let's yeah this one it's gonna be our box wait do we actually did, did that be was that put in our party no it was not <laughs> okay i'm stupid i gotta go get it from over here now and uh bowlby is gonna find a nice little position in the box for a little while 
Hope you enjoy your stay. We probably won't be back for you anytime soon. That is all. Is this one actually going to hatch quickly? Yes, it is. Okay. Our Pokemon for Castelli Sewers is going to be an epic music time. Hatching. Come on. Fire Steel. Fire Steel. Fire Steel. That would be fantastic. Ah. Okay. That's somewhat useful, I guess. Um, but, yeah, we really could have used something better. Okay, you are going to be named... Um... Hmm, what should we name Matchop? I'm gonna name you... I don't think of a nickname at the moment. This is the horrible part when I can't think of anything and I just start rambling on like this. I'm gonna name you Zeke. That's gonna be your name. Zeke is a fantastic name. You will love it. Okay, uh, let's check him out. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll have some amazing Dream World move or something. Uh, does he have no guard? He has serious nature. He has guts. Tackle, Leer, close combat. Oh, poop. Or, yeah, that's awesome. And knockoff. Wow. Uh, can't complain there. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Um, okay, let's level him up to 16 really quick. Let's go to our bag. Uh, I've had so many freaking matchups. That is just ridiculous. I, every game I play, I seem... Well, I know in Emerald, I had like four freaking matchups. Just, they're everywhere. I know I don't want focus energy. I can't complain in close combat. I'm... You know what? I, oh, Karate Chop. Um, yes, let's get that. Let's get, forget about Leer. It's good not to just spam close combat everywhere, because, you know, lower defenses can come back to bite you in the butt. Low sweep, ooh, um, which does more? Karate Chop, 50, um, with 100 accuracy, critical hits land more easily. Low sweep, 60, base power, and reduces the target speed. Um, let's go with low sweep, I like that. That's, that could be useful. 14, 15, and 16, awesome. Ooh, me whoa, what? Is that in this hack? Does he normally learn metronome? No, 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 no. You're not going to mention them because you're going to end up like exploding on me or something. Um, okay, you know what? I think I'm going to keep Zeke for a little while. He could be useful. Uh, he'll resist the next gym badge, which will be useful. Um, yeah, so why am I in here? Why am I looking in this bag? Oh, we should teach some TMs to some people. Uh, we got Cut, which in this hack is a grass type and 60 base power. That could actually be useful. Can anybody learn that? Soul can learn that. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, we have Return, which we should really teach to somebody. Like, a Soul could definitely use Return. Because, um, yeah. It's just freaking so many, <laughs> so many of these. Pursuit, yeah, we don't need Pursuit. This isn't really Wi-Fi where Pokemon switch out a lot, so not that worried about that. Let's, oh, we do have Low Sleep. Can anybody actually learn Low Sleep by TM? Nope. Zeke's the only one in the yard. He has it. Thief. Yeah, not too worried about Venice Shock. Let's try that. Ooh, Felix scoring it. Um, that's well. I actually, well, Poison's only strong against Grass. I already have um, a Flying type move to strong against Grass, so I don't need Poison. It doesn't add any kind of variety to my move set. So I'm very tempted to put Cut on Soul right now. Um, 60 base power Grass type move. Ooh, that's tempting. Uh, I'm gonna go look at Absol's moveset and see if he has anything special that I want, so. Okay, so Absol doesn't get any, like, no, what did I do? Absol doesn't get any super useful moves right now that I would, like, need a spot for, so I think we're gonna give him cut, and I mean, if anything, we change your mind, we can get rid of it uh, at the PWT anyway, so that's not that far off. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give him cut. Let's get rid of... Faint Attack and Bite. They both, well, Bite has more PP, but Faint Attack's guaranteed not to miss. So, I want to keep Quick Attack. Return can be super useful because it's going to be super powerful once we get his happiness all the way up. Um, we don't need Bite. Oh, Bite can flinch and Faint Attack never misses. They both have 100 accuracy. Bite has more PP. Not too often do Pokemon go for like double team and accuracy lowering moves. So, I think I'd rather have that flinch hacks to be honest. Um, and more PP is always useful. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. And so, now nose cut. Okay, fantastic. Um, I guess 
next time we will be going through the Castelli sewers. We did like absolutely nothing this video. I spent half the video just complaining about Pokemon and looking at my bag. So I apologize, but next time we'll be going to Castelia Sewers, and we'll be hearing more talk from the retard, so that's fantastic. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Hardy Tegoyo. Peace!